Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to solve the error, use one of these records, in Data Loader. When you insert new records via Data Loader, you may receive the error message, use one of these records. This will cause your import to fail. The error message indicates that you have a duplicate or matching rule active in your organization, and one of the records in the CSV file does not pass the rule. We'll recreate this error. The first step is to try to insert an account record in which there is a record with the same name already in the org. Create a new CSV with only the required fields. In this screencast, I'll create two columns with account name and account currency. I'll add the name and currency and save the file as a CSV. Open Data Loader, click Insert, enter your credentials, click Login and Next. Select the account object, click Browse, and add the CSV file that was just created. Click Next and OK. Click Create or Edit a Map, and the Mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column names should match up if entered correctly. If not, then drag the fields down to the column mapping. Click OK once done, and click Next. Select a place where to save the success and error files which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. In this example, we've recreated the error. Click View Errors, and we see that the error is Use one of these records. Let's close this. This error indicated that there's a duplicate or matching rule on the account object. Log into the org, click on the gear icon, select Setup, and type Duplicate in the Quick Find box. Click on Duplicate Rules, and note there is an account name duplicate rule. You can adjust the criteria, but in this screencast, I'll disable it. I'll click on the rule and deactivate it. I'll go back to the data loader and insert the record. Note that the insert was successful. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you'll need system administrator permissions. If you're interested in inserting records and adjusting rules and do not have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.